All right, we ran out of materials and food, so we're going to go get resupply tomorrow morning. But before we do that, I wanted to give you an update, let you know what we've got done. And because it's going to be a while before I'm able to edit this footage and upload any videos. We got the floor mostly reinstalled. I have to finish that when I get the floorboards. And we got the porch put back on, as you can see. And it, it's about 90% complete. I still have to get this outer rim joist and stuff like that, but came out really good. And it's been awesome using the porch and drinking coffee and just looking out at the river and all of that. <clears throat> Uh, I repurposed some of the uh, old materials into new things that are functional for the cabin, like this bench here with those the the post or the stumps that it's sitting on. That was the original sill log that the cabin was built on, and so those notches in there are where Camille notched out for the floor joist. So I think it made a cool bench. Plus, that's leftover material. Um, when I milled that log or that tree into lumber that I used for the framing for the floor and so it was all the leftover material I had and I made uh, some stuff for that the bench this um, kind of fascia board I guess I call it. I'm not really sure what the name for it would be but it fills in that gap between the porch and the cabin I haven't secured it yet I have to adjust it um, a little bit but I, I think it looks good and the other thing that I repurposed was the giant coffin size uh, wooden box that, which I believe, what, so Camille ran mail around the area and I believe he used a dog team to do so. So I think that box was designed to fit into a dog sled and was what he used to, to distribute mail with and it was just way too big it took up way too much space and it was busted it needed some work but uh, I repurposed that into two smaller boxes one you might be able to see right there which is a wood box I'm going to make a lid for it I don't know if I'll put it on it or not then the other inside the cabin is is kind of a coffee table slash table and it, it just they it's really fitting to repurpose those things and 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 they work really well. So we've mostly been working since we've been out here, but we did make a trip across the river to go and check on Dewey's camp and to visit the site where Helen Hamlin's cabin was when she lived out here. And also the steam shovel, which is across the river and just downstream. And I don't know all the history of that steam shovel, but it's really neat and it was used at the um, at the tramway where the trains are on the Allagash uh, uh, at Eagle Lake. So that's cool. I got some really cool drone shots when we were pulling across the river. I'm pretty excited about that. And of course, we we ate well, cooked a bunch of awesome food, had a, had a botched baking operation, uh, they made a pineapple upside down cake, and it was it was ugly, but it was really awesome and I ate it all anyway but the main point of this video is to I wanted to thank some people there's been a lot of response from these videos it's grown the channel a lot and uh, it's really encouraging you all encourage me and I really appreciate that and uh, I just want to thank everybody who has reached out to me and just motivated me and encouraged me and all of that it really means a lot and I appreciate it but also there's been some people that have sent me some gifts which is incredible and I'm really just humbled and and thankful for that and uh, so I just want to point out those gifts that I've got and and say thank you to those people um, one of the coolest things that I've gotten is this knife and uh, I'm using this all the time now and uh, the guy who sent it to me he asked not to say his his name so we'll just call him Steve thanks Steve uh, really like that knife it's a great design um, Sally and Tony who I actually met out here um, they've been awesome they've sent Gracie a bunch of dog treats and stuff like that and um, always commenting on the videos and everything but she 
they sent me this draw knife and <laughs> I used it for a bunch of these pro I got a lot of miles on this thing already it's it's awesome I really needed this and uh, it's helped me out a lot so thanks a lot for that uh, Shane sent me this old I guess old antique somewhat uh, spatula and uh, I actually love this thing it's awesome I'm using it all the time and uh, Shane's a funny guy he's a builder so I'm calling him all the time and uh, talking to him about all the frustrations of the job and uh, he cracks me up so um, then there's there's a couple companies uh, that have reached out to me to send me stuff and uh, one of them is this I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the brand, honestly, but they sent me these lights and a headlamp, uh, but these lights are awesome. They're lighting up. I'm using them to light up the whole cabin, uh, not only for filming, but just for functionality while I'm in there, and it's it's awesome to have them. They're USB rechargeable. I can also charge my phone or any device off of these. It, they're, <laughs> I'm really impressed. I'm not, I'm not uh, just making that up. And, uh, and then a company that I actually reached out to because so power needs are kind of an issue out here especially when i've been making the longer trips and north main woods uh, supplied me with a a gas power generator uh 2300 watt generator inverter and and that's great but there's two things that i don't want to listen to it and it's no good for filming to run a gas generator and uh it's just i kind of have to shut down the whole job to charge things before I can start filming again and all of that. So I reached out to a company, Jackery, uh, that makes these portable power units, just asking if they had anything that would help me with what I'm doing. And they basically said, yeah, what's your address? And then boom, this thing showed up in the mail and I'm really impressed, it's awesome. It's a Jackery Explorer 1000. I'm charging the drone with it right now. It makes no noise. Uh, I've been out here for like four days or whatever charging charging these lights the the camera batteries my my uh, cordless tools and everything and uh and it's still going it's at 51 percent it was at 100 percent when i started so i really like this it's it's pretty light and uh there's options to get solar panels to work with it and all of that uh, but it's cool and uh really appreciate having that really impressed with everything really thankful for everyone who sent me gifts and all of that and uh, it's not they're just they're really awesome gifts too they're stuff that i'm really using and it's just it's just awesome all of this and the feedback we've been getting wanted to extend a special thanks to the outgoing director of the north main woods al copperthwaite he is uh he's the guy that's made all this happen he's 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 you know on behalf of north main woods he's sponsored all of this hired me to do these projects and just just been supportive but then also give me the freedom to maneuver to to do whatever i need to do and and, and get it done and he's he's just you know he supported me with he, he sourced my materials and um it's just been it's been incredible you know the the first my my first so-called day on the job if you will when i first thing i did being hired uh for these projects was on the last one at flaws bogan um we had to deliver materials um to that cabin and that's you know river access only for materials with the boat there's and uh we were it, we were out there in the rain he came he came with me he met me out there with the with the lumber and we loaded the canoe and we motored up the river to deliver the material in the rain to two trips he did with me which i thought you know that was a real uh, leading by example um, experience and I thought it was awesome I was really really impressed with that and uh, I just think it was very fitting for the whole theme of these projects that, that uh, you know he was out there um, willing to, to help out and, and to make that happen so thanks Al really appreciate this opportunity and uh, I hope I hope Al was able to spend a lot of nights at these cabins and uh, to continue to uh, float the river and tell everybody he meets the history of, of the whole waterway because he knows it really well. Well, I guess that's all for now. Uh, gonna get the videos worked on and uploaded as quickly as I can. 
probably will take me a couple weeks, but uh, appreciate you being patient and uh, look forward to, to seeing those. Thing. We're driving, we're driving. <laughs> 